Hello and welcome to another episode of DIY by the German Guy. In today's episode, I'd like to show you how to upgrade a Dell XPS 17 laptop computer with a hard drive or an SSD drive, two terabytes, and some more RAM. Uh, I bought it with 16 gigs of RAM. I've got 64 gigs of RAM right here. And hopefully that'll go in here smoothly. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, yeah, so if you look at the laptop, it has these tiny Torx screws. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, from what I can tell. Hopefully there aren't any under any stickers. Let's see how it goes. So I got this kit right here. It has a bunch of different security screws in it. And some of them are the Torx screws. And what you wanna do is you wanna find the largest Torx screw that will fit into uh, into the screws because if if the Torx screw driver is too small, then you run in danger of stripping the screw. So let me see what I got here. Um, I think it's a T5 maybe. T I'm going to start with the T6. T6 looks slightly too large. So, T5 it is. And let's see. Lo and behold, it seems to fit well. So what's important is that you are perfectly perpendicular to the torque screw to minimize the danger of stripping it. If you look at the laptop, it's a, uh, it looks like the screws are slightly at an angle. So I'm gonna take my torque screwdriver, be perfectly perpendicular to the screw, and that's about right. And then just gently apply pressure and make sure the screw actually turns. Otherwise you're just stripping the screw. There we go, it's starting to come out. Perfect. Nice and smooth, easy does it. One. And also I always like to use a towel or something underneath to Minimize the danger of scratching the laptop accidentally. Just be gentle. Patience is a virtue. Comes out. Nice and smooth. There we go. Another one over here. Perfect. So what I like to do is I like to buy my higher end computers that I buy from well-known manufacturers. I like to buy them with a minimum amount of RAM and or hard drive available because typically what you find is that if you buy the hardware with a minimum spec and then upgrade it yourself, Typically, you can you uh, you can save 100 or 200 bucks versus buying the higher upgrades from the manufacturer. If you choose to venture into your hardware and upgrade it yourself, obviously you only want to do it if you've done this kind of thing before or if you're feel adventurous. Ooh, that's interesting. Laptop is actually magnetic. The screws are stuck to my laptop. Nice. Make sure you put them in a place where they don't get lost. Last screw, I hope. Let's see what happens. Take it out. Um, oh yeah, and after I've done upgrading my hardware, the harvested RAM I like to sell it on eBay and get a few, a few bucks back as well. Uh, is there something happening? So I find that guitar picks work well. You won't scratch anything and you just kind of squeeze them in between and hope for the best that it'll actually come apart. Just kind of run it along the edge and then something is popping. Use it under. Okay. 
There we go. Pop, pop. Just be gentle. Put it in between. Guitar picks are usually softer than. Pop something. There we go. Something else popped. I should really move these screws. I don't want to lose my screws. Okay, come on. Pop, pop, pop. There we go. Pop, pop, pop. Pop music. Oh, come on. I know you want to come apart. Resistance is futile. goes pop 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 more popping make sure they kind of go around it evenly just to not break any tabs or bend the case that would not be good come on do it pop 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 ooh, ooh. Yeah, ah look at that volatias okay now okay I'm guessing these are the SSD drives. Can I lift? Oh yeah, look at that. There's the RAM. That should be easy. Thank you, Dell. This will be super easy. Okay, so this right here, RAM. RAM. So let's start with the RAM. My uh, 64 gigabytes of FX memory here. Oops. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, it comes with a nice sticker too. Decorate your case. Okay. Right, so there are these little metal tabs. You just bend them apart. And it comes right out. And you kind of want to make sure to make a note of which way the little notch here is facing. So this part right here is less wide than this part. And then you match it with the new RAM where, yeah, that's the same orientation, just to make sure. Make sure it's, make sure it's snug in this way before you push it down. And make sure that the metal tabs click in. Oh, come on. Is it? Oh yeah. Yep. Make sure nothing is moving. Should be nice and tight. Perfect. Now let's take the other one. Again, you pull the little tabs outwards and, and the RAM starts popping up like so. These little metal tabs, you put, push them apart and then this will come right, popping right out. And you want to do the same thing. You want to look for the little notch and look, make sure you line it up with the new RAM. So it goes in this way. And then it's the same procedure, just pop it in, make sure you push it in all the way so it's nice and snug. Push it down until it clicks in, make sure it's secure, and voila. All right, now, I'm guessing this one is empty. This one requires a little screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, you wanna make sure that there's as little play as possible yeah, this one's nice and tight. Tight fit. And then again, do the same thing. Gentle pressure, and you want to turn slowly. Make sure the screw is actually turning. Just to not strip it. Oh, two screws. Two screws. See something turning. So you definitely want to get the right screwdriver. And I find these little to medium size craftsman screwdrivers work perfectly well for those little screws. Um, the craftsman screwdrivers really have great shape to get the screw out properly. There we go. Okay, now let's see it. 
Oh yeah, and actually they're labeled. It says SSD1 and SSD2. So I'm on SSD2, and if you can see this, this comes right out. There we go, gentle. Put this to the side. Can't get it all the way out, just slide it out of the way like this. Um, here we are. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Uh, okay, so this, again, there's a notch. You gotta make sure that you not line the notch up with what's in the laptop. And you want to make sure it's in snug that way. And then over here, there's the screw. The screw hole and you want to make sure it lines with the screw hole kind of hold it down slide this back into place make sure everything is back in the proper place there we go that worked well so now we'll take the screw and i'd like to use the top screw first because that's what's holding the ssd in place there we go not too bad. Make sure, sure it's snug, but you don't want to over tighten it. Just nice and snug. And the other screw. I'm close to the big moment. A nice big fat battery, too. So I've been pretty happy with the XPS 17. With the exception, every now and then, again, it does an update. And then it just kind of turns itself on uh, when it's asleep. And then when you boot it up, your mouse cursor disappeared. But uh, yeah, I haven't quite figured out what's causing it. But then it takes like two or three reboots sometimes for the mouse cursor to come back. I don't know why. But other than that, I've been super happy with the laptop. Performance is great. Uh, I've got the version with the RTX 2060 card. Definitely screams uh, the screen is super amazing but the hdr settings are kind of strange I have to fiddle with it some more and also the automatic brightness can get annoying sometimes but uh, overall it's a very solid laptop i would say its quality rivals that of a good mac power book all right just kind of press it tight Clickety clickety click. Clippity clippity click. I did screw everything down, right? Inside? I think so. Okay. Get the stuff out of the way. Okay. Okay, perfect. Everything tight. Screw it back together. Sometimes I like to um, test it before I screw it back together, but I'm pretty confident. But I did the right thing. We'll see. Hopefully, I don't have to unscrew it again. Okay, so we'll go back to our number five Torx screwdriver. And the same thing now applies. You want to make sure you try to hit this at the same angle. Mash the angle as closely as possible to the ingoing thread and just very lightly tighten them until snug. You definitely don't want to over tighten these. That would not go well. Okay, come on. In there. It, all, it definitely helps to have a magnetic screwdriver with these. It's much easier to handle. Screwy, screwy, screw. Snippity, snippity, do. Um, come on. Get it in there. Just tight, just tight enough. The thing won't fall apart. And also, if you notice, the screws they have like uh, they have like a little bit of Loctite, blue Loctite, at the end of the screw to kind of keep them in place and prevent them from undoing themselves. You can feel it. there's a little bit of resistance as you screw it down. 
Uh, so you want to get through the resistance and then just slightly snug. That should do the trick. Oh, come on. Again, you want to match the angle of your screwdriver as closely as possible to be perpendicular to the screw so not strip them. There we go. Okay. Big moment. It turned on. Will it do anything? Oh yeah, also the RAM that I got, if you have an XPS 17, it's an high it's a HyperX, 64 gigabyte DDR4, 2933 speed, CL17, SODIM kit, two, ti two times 32 gigs of RAM, which from what I know is the maximum amount of RAM, up from 16 gigs. And for the hard drive, I used an, or a Samsung SSD 980 Pro, which promises speeds up to 7,000 uh, mega megabits, I don't know if it's megabits or megabytes per second. But it's should be a screamer. Okay, let's see. With that out of the way, now the big reveal. Will it blend? I mean, will it work? Will it blend? It's a different series. It's kind of fun too. Have you ever tried blending a laptop before? I don't know. Okay, is it gonna turn on? Oh, I see something. Nice. Hmm, come on, do something, please, pretty please. Oh, look, something came on. It says, what did you do? Bio setup. Let's do the bio setup. Going heat. Yeah. Sure, that's good. What do we see? Aha. Okay, battery level 95%. Um, what is it saying? Processor. Blah, 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 blah. 64 gigabytes of background. Blah, blah. Come on. Battery, processor, memory. 64 gigabytes of RAM. Great. Where is storage? Oh, look at that. M2 PC. So it recognized the other hard drive, and I think we're golden. So that's how you upgrade the XPS 17. I hope you enjoyed today's show and I will see you next time. Bye bye.